Hello everybody, welcome to another Mac Deep Dive video. Today I am examining the generational improvement in the hardware encoder speed between the M1 Mac Mini and the Mac Studio M4 Max in H.264 and H.265 codecs. The M4 was claimed to come with an improved media engine, but nowhere could I find official information on the exact nature of the improvement. So naturally, I set out to determine the improvement, if any, and share my findings with you guys. For this test, I am using a trivial scenario in Resolve where I have a H.264 input track with zero effects and no fusion workloads. Essentially, this is just a transcode job, which is exactly what I am interested in. First off, H.264. The M1 took 5 minutes 41 seconds to export video, whereas the M4 Max took 2 minutes 50 seconds. Translated into frames per second, we can see that the M4 Max is exactly twice as fast as the M1. Important to point out here, the Max variants have always come with two hardware encoders, whereas the base models had just one. Therefore, disappointingly, there is no generational improvement in H.264 export speed between the M1 and the M4. Now, H.265. The M1 took 3 minutes 46 seconds, whereas the M4 Max took 1 minute 36 seconds. Translated into FPS, we can see that the M4 Max is slightly over 2 times faster than the M1. As the M4 Max has doubled the hardware encoders, this implies that the generational improvement per encoder over the last 4.5 years is a mere 17%. This is far less than the CPU frequency increase between the M1 and the M4, and is not really anything to write home about, in my opinion. Hopefully, Apple brings more tangible improvements in the next generation. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time!